My name's Jeremy Moore from Team Vodafone. I'm Craig Lanz's race engineer. Um, welcome to the Norton Engineer for Speed section on Speed Cafe. This section we're looking at front suspension mainly. So um, <coughs> front suspension on our cars are made mainly from um, Molly steel, steel uprights, steel wishbones, um, and what we what we believe is uh, you can't get anything stronger than steel, a steel exoskeleton. Some teams use aluminium, but uh, machining aluminium from the outside in is never going to be as strong as uh, making steel from the outside and having a hollow section on the inside. So one, for example, this is our front upright. So that's a, um, a wire cut barrel made from all different pieces of steel machine, welded together, heat treated, final machined and ready to go. There's still lots of bits missing on that one but um, that's how it starts. Down here is the where the lower control arm bolts onto. We have a pin which mounts there. Up here we have a, a, a block where all the camber shims go so you can adjust the camber from say 3 to 8 degrees, whichever, whatever you want. Um, so that bolts onto a, a clevis up here and the steering arm bolts onto another clevis here so, um, and that basically is the, the main points which connect it to the car. Caliper goes here, spindle goes here, brake duct comes around and cools the, uh, the brakes. Um, these are our top wishbones, same thing, a bent steel tube, um, laser cut plates welded together, and steering arm, also the lower control arm. So um, we machine bits of these and weld them together. Roughly they take about um, a day to make I say a low control arm, it takes uh, almost a week to make a, a front upright because they're quite labour intensive but strong. The, min the minimum weight for the um, front uprights are 10.5 kilos altogether. So that includes of course the brake ducting, the, um, the calipers, uh, the kingpins, steering clevises um, and all that sort of stuff. So uh, as long as you meet that there's no point making it any lighter than that. Um, steering arms, the main point in contention of, of the things that, uh, that break on a V8 supercar. Um, the main reason why they always break is we try to design them so they're the weakest link. If, we, if these don't break, then something else will upstream. Say for example, uh, the steering rack, which is a lot more expensive than the actual steering arm. Plus also, it's a lot quicker to change the steering arm, two bolts instead of changing a steering rack itself where you've got to take um, the actual um, uh, clamps off the steering rack and also the uni on top where the steering column goes and also steering arm anyway so um, that's why these are the weakest points of the car um, yeah so that's basically the front suspension